Hey guys, uh, welcome back again to the channel. So as you can see from the thumbnail today, I'm going to show you a really cool trick or let's say a troubleshooting method that you can use with your Windows 10 if you are having problems uh, with your system. And uh, the problems might be various one. It's not for only one kind of problem because technically this method which is called in place upgrade is basically almost like installing a new windows into your system but the good thing about this in place upgrade is that you have the option to just reinstall or let's say upgrade only the windows system files and application so basically you have the opportunity to uh, install a new windows or upgrade a new windows let's call it this way and keep all your default settings that you had before doing this method so technically with this way we avoid the formatting of the pc and obviously the reinstalling uh, from the beginning of all of your apps that you might have into your system which basically is uh, the only thing that we don't want because we all know how difficult and how frustrating that thing could be so if you are into this kind of situation where practically I was uh, uh, practically I was having problem with my system stability a little bit, uh, but mostly I couldn't access correctly some of the application. I couldn't access uh, my games. I also had some problems with one of my hard drives that Windows could not access correctly and uh, I also went through the steps of contacting the Windows support. I w uh, we went until the point where uh, a support guy from the Windows uh, support service uh, got into my PC with the screen share program that they use and even uh, that support guy wasn't able to fix my system problems that I had at the time. And at the end, we decided to do this method, which basically I did it myself. They, they, obviously, showed me, they obviously showed me the steps and I did it myself and it's very, very easy to do. So basically this means that I think almost 99% of you guys uh, are going to be able to do this method because it's very easy and it can save you a lot, a lot of time and troubleshooting with your system. So uh, without further ado, obviously you will have all the links that we're going uh, all the links uh, of the pages that I'm going to use here for these steps and you can find them by yourself. But anyway, I decided to make the video so maybe some of you guys can profit uh, from this troubleshooting method because for me it worked. It fixed all of my problems, stability problems. It fixed my applications. Now my hard drives and uh, other stuff are recognized correctly uh, from the Windows. Also, the Windows now is more snappy because uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, basically this is like almost formatting and installing a new Windows into your system. So that's why it has a very, very high probability that it will fix all of your problem, problems that you might have with your Windows. So the first link is going to be this page in here where it takes you um, uh, to this uh, to this post in here uh, by a Microsoft agent as you can see and it says how to perform an in-place upgrade with Windows 10 step by steps and on the first um, on the first line in here you see that you need to visit uh, this uh, uh, this link in here which it will take you uh, it will take you to this page where basically you have to go at, uh, here where it says create Windows 10 installation media uh, media and technically you do you have to download the tool and after you download the tool then you have the steps or you can have the video step by step where uh, which is the the link here which basically it shows you uh, how you can do this uh, this upgrade because it is very easy again and 99% uh, of you guys uh, uh, are going to be able to do this uh, alone without any help. Okay, so uh, let's begin with the steps. Obviously, after clicking on the download uh, the media tool, uh, then uh, 
uh, there are some things that uh, you need to know uh, as the video suggests is uh, uh, suggests uh, on the link that you can follow there basically you have to ensure that uh, you are signed in uh, or have administrator rights to do a repair install unplug all external per uh, peripherals uh, except for the mouse and keyboard and LAN cables before starting disable or uninstall any third-party antivirus program to prevent it from interfering with the upgrade now uh, the LAN cable obviously must be unplugged after the procedure uh, has begun begun uh, begun because uh, in here for example if you obviously if you unplug the LAN cable you are not going to be able to download the Windows media tool because uh, technically now you are downloading a full copy of Windows 10 from the Microsoft page itself so obviously if you take out the LAN cable you are not going to have uh, internet connection so this step is going to be done after the media tool is downloaded and the procedure has begun to do the in-place uh, upgrade for uh, Windows uh, 10 then you can do all of these steps uh, that are shown uh, into this video and another thing that you might uh, know for this procedure if for some uh, uh, for some weird reason these links uh, do not work in uh, google chrome or maybe opera it depends what browser browser do you use you can always use the internet uh, explorer or edge um, uh, or edge browser from uh, uh, from default windows uh, 10 so uh, uh, you are sure that uh, these links are going to work for you because for me for example i couldn't open these links uh, from uh, google chrome so i had to use the internet the old internet explorer to be able to open the links and begin the procedure and as you can see in here on the video uh, as shown uh, in the page obviously after you download the tool you run the uh, you run the downloaded tool so uh, so the procedure uh, can begin and uh, we can go ahead with the in place obviously we do give uh, access uh, to this application to do changes uh, to our device because uh, it needs uh, uh, it needs those rights and here obviously you see uh, the you see the windows 10 setup as i told you at the beginning uh, it will uh, it will be uh, almost like installing a new windows or let's say you will download a full copy uh, of the windows 10 and with this procedure you are just going to replace uh, all of your old windows uh, system windows um, that uh, uh, is on your pc with the new system windows that uh, you just uh, uh, downloaded so basically after you have um, uh, read the license uh, and things like always then you obviously click uh, on accept here now comes uh, the uh, the part where we need to choose basically you choose upgrade this pc now if you just want to do the in-place upgrade into your current pc and you are able to do this if for some reason your system or your pc is um, uh, so broken down that you cannot go through this procedure to that pc but you still want to do this then you go to the second option when you create an installation media usb flash drive a dvd ico file and so on for another pc but obviously this uh, method is to show you to upgrade your current pc that is having problems and you are able to do this procedure on that pc particularly so we are within the uh, the system that ha uh, that is having problem not doing this procedure for another pc so basically you just click on upgrade this pc now and then hit next and we can move on to uh, the next step okay after that now we are ready to install and this is uh, the last part and very important part of this troubleshooting method because obviously as i told you many many times now we are installing a new windows as you see here install windows 10 pro or maybe you might have another license it depends what license do you have for your windows and we have keep personal files and applications which i told you that you will install a new windows over your old uh, system that you have right now but everything else is going to be the same so nothing is going to change 
for your current system how it's layout is layout your uh, applications that you have installed games uh, and different applications that you might have so don't worry about that if you click this setting install windows and keep personal files and applications all will remain as it is the only files that are going to change or let's say to upgrade are going only the files for the system only the windows 10 files so your personal files applications games and other stuff are still going to be the same as they were before doing this operation but i say this because um, uh, maybe someone might change some application so if you don't want to keep your personal files because you have saved them on another pc or on a hard drive or you just want to get rid of them uh, you can change what to keep so basically you click on change what to keep and in there you select what do you want to keep and what you don't want to keep but i suggest you keep it as it is so uh, install windows update keep personal files and application as they are because this is uh, what um, we began this win uh, this uh, method for basically to uh, fix windows without changing anything from where uh, from the moment where we were before doing this method and uh, that's why this method is very useful because basically you can uh, change all your system files without changing anything um, on your layout applications and so on then obviously uh, uh, the program will begin installing windows 10 by beginning with the downloading windows 10 from uh, the windows servers uh, servers and this uh, can take a while because it depends on your internet connection for me it was like um, half an hour maybe 40 minutes till uh, it completed the download so these steps depends on your internet connection how quickly uh, is going to be done uh, and I say this because um, you might be prepared um, and hopefully do not have a blackout on your uh, energy because uh, maybe something bad can happen but hopefully it doesn't then after that is done basically you are going to get to the uh, uh, to the uh, welcome screen you can change your privacy settings as you prefer location and other stuff like a normal windows installation does when you format a pc so technically it's the same thing uh, and also the same thing with cortana you can decide to use it not to use it or to or to go back if you have missed something and uh, uh, basically this is uh, this is just a uh, personal preference that uh, preferences that you might have after you have chosen all your privacy settings and cortana and other stuff then you are going to the welcome screen and your in place upgrade has ended and windows will begin normally like it was before but this time as we mentioned many many times all of your system files are going to be replaced with the latest windows uh, files that you downloaded from windows uh, uh, from windows uh, app page so technically this uh, again is almost like formatting your pc but without formatting your pc because you are still going to be able to replace all your system old system uh, system files or windows files but you are going to keep all of the settings application games uh, and other stuff as they were before so that's why this method is very very useful and it might save you um, uh, a lot of trouble that you might uh, that you might go uh, uh, through your uh, through the different problems that you might have with your windows so uh, yeah that was uh, it for today guys uh, hopefully this was uh, helpful for you if so please consider subscribing to the channel also turn on notifications so you never miss one of my new videos and uh, yeah as always guys catch you on the next one bye bye